Okay guys, I'm uh, doing some measurements on the fuel system of the Miata. So I'm going to be doing an upgrade on the fuel pump and I kind of wanted to see what the limits were on the factory fuel pressure regulator. Just that little thing there with the red hose coming off of it. Um, to kind of test this, I've got a fuel fuel pressure gauge hooked up to, I guess it's, it's really the feed line probably. Um, but there's a there's a hose that comes into the regulator here that feeds pressured fuel into the rail, and then somewhere over here there's a output on the um, rail that basically is what I'm tapped into. So this should be the regulated side of the of the fuel line, um, and so I've got the gauge hooked up to here. And you can see it's already kind of reading the uh, kind of the, the nominal pressure because uh, the fuel system is pressurized right now. So if I, I turn the pump on, I've got my um, tuner studio here with the mega squared hooked up to it. And if I put it in uh, test mode, turn on the fuel pump, um, yeah, the, the base pressure jumps up to, I don't know, somewhere maybe like 44 PSI. Um, so that's, that's pretty much what the factory pump is doing at idle. And then the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up, um, I got my boost tester over there, boost leak tester, and I'm going to try to pressurize the system and see, you know, how well the factory regulator can keep up with um, boost pressures in the system. Okay, so I've been trying to do some of the pressured, uh, pressurized runs, boost pressure, that is, um, off camera, and it turns out I've actually found some boost leaks. My blow-off valve is leaking pretty bad, so, um, with this current setup, I'm only able to get it up to about 12 PSI of boost measured on the um, mega squirt there. And so it should be good enough because this, honestly, this car never sees over 12 PSI. 10 PSI is around what I normally uh, drive it at. And, um, but that should let me at least be able to see the, the fuel pressure regulator and, and how it's behaving whenever it's under um, boost. So I'm going to do that real quick here. First thing I'm going to do is turn on the um, the fuel pump so that it's it's regulating pressure correctly. Uh, so that's on. It's still reading, you know, the 44, 43 PSI nominal pressure. I'm going to start to add boost to the system. Um, so here we go. should see a climb over here. Okay, so we're probably at the cap of what I can get this to, which is about 12 PSI. Um, so it looks like it's regulating it pretty linearly. Um, I might try to figure something out to so I can hook up pressure to this a little bit more directly, maybe plumb something directly off of that red feed line. But uh, so that's where it's at right now. I've been messing with this for a little bit. Uh, I actually killed the battery because I was running the fuel pump for so long, but um, now I got on the charger. Anyway, um, so I have this little T here with uh, a bike pump plumbed into the one side, and the other side's going to this uh, the fuel pressure regulator's reference line. So I'm able to pressurize that directly rather than what I was doing before, which is basically pressurizing the whole um, charge system. Um, this side's just just teed off or. Um, capped off with a, a nut. So with this setup, I, um, I'm i actually get, able to get the, the fuel pressure to spike up to about 70 PSI. I'm not sure if that's the limit of the pump or the limit of the regulator. Um, I do hear like the majority of the air that I'm pumping uh, coming out of the bottom of the regulator. I think there's probably a little vent hole or something down there that's bleeding off the, the air pressure. But um, I'll set you guys up on a tripod so I could show you how this is how this is running here. Okay, got the car on. I'm gonna turn on the fuel pump. So uh, here's our base pressure, and now I'm gonna start the pump with the with the bike pump. You're gonna hear a lot of the air leaking out, but just watch for the spike uh, for the peak pressure.
So, and then it kind of sits there because I think this is actually holding some pressure in the um, bike line here. But if I bleed that off, it goes back to the staple. So, that's all I got for now. Um, I think I'm going to put the new pump in and, and see how that behaves.